that and there was a injured Nighthawk. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you will know that I have an evil cat that belongs to my neighbor. They bit this bird and broke its wing. Guys, I'm getting, I gotta go out to the front yard right now. My neighbor's evil cat and guys, there's, a, there's an injured bird, there's another cat. There's another cat, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, we just, we just saved the bird, we just got him. No, look at him. His wing is broken right there. I don't oh no. Just, I think he's dying in my, my arms. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now just a short bit ago, something absolutely insane happened. My sister called me, said grab your camera, start recording, run out. There's an injured animal on our front porch. And well, I did just that and there was a injured Nighthawk. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you will know that I have an evil cat that belongs to my neighbor. Well, we had some new neighbors move in in the neighborhood and they brought a bunch of cats. And well, these cats kind of befriended each other. They're always hanging out in our yard for some unknown apparent reason. And well, they bit this bird and broke its wing. We took the bird to a wildlife rehabber. If you guys wanna know what happened to the bird, how he's doing now, if he's going to survive, well, you're gonna have to stick along for today's video to find out. But before we actually hop into today's bird, Bird rescue I've got to give all of you an update on my rhino iguanas done it done it done it something important has happened in here I told you guys about it a couple videos ago but I want all of you guys to actually guess it so look at her she's nice and plump and she is so skinny guys well what does that mean go comment down below what you think this means why is this iguana so skinny well I'll tell you right now thing number one has laid her eggs well there's no eggs here now because we already dug them up. They're in the incubator and well, that's this is great news. She dropped a bunch of eggs. I'm so happy that this pretty girl laid her eggs, but in the process, if you see that bump on her tail, let me try to touch her tail. I'm probably gonna get whipped pretty good. If you look at her tail right here, she kinked her tail in the middle of laying her eggs. And well, I don't wanna bother her too much. She has been guarding her nest, kind of attacking the other rhino iguanas. But look at her, she's real skinny right now, but she should be back to a healthy weight in no time. And now that all of you guys got to see the mom, we are going to go right now inside and we're going to get all of her eggs situated. And there they are. These are the rhino iguana eggs. Now, I was out of perlite. Perlite is this white incubation media. I was out of perlite, so overnight, these eggs eggs actually stayed in the incubator on this dirt and well it was just all right leaving them on dirt and we have a total of I, th I think don't hold me to it I think we have 17 rhino eggs we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 30 40 15 16 and 17 but the reason why this is separate is because this one got wet. If you look right there, this egg is starting to smell and get slimy, and unfortunately, you cannot win them all and not all the eggs will make it. It was raining earlier in the day when she laid. She has a covered place to lay, but this one looks like it got a little wet, and well, we're gonna keep this egg separate because if it starts growing mold, the mold could transfer to the other eggs, and well, we don't want the other eggs to get moldy. If the eggs get moldy and they get really, really moldy, they will most likely not make it. But there is a solution for this, uh, somewhat of a solution. We have some antifungal foot powder. Wait for it. I don't know if you can see it. Well, there it is right there. Antifungal foot powder from CVS is great. This sometimes will actually help and stop the mold, help the egg dry up a little. So we're just literally going to sprinkle just a little bit, just like that on the egg. And well, hopefully with this fungal powder, this egg will make it. The mold will stop. The sliminess will stop and there'll be a baby rhino hatching out. Would you look at that? We have all of the eggs in here. Well, the rest of them, the other ones are in here and the only thing left to do now is sprinkle some moss. I like to sprinkle some moss on the eggs. It helps hold the humidity in. It helps give the eggs, you know, a little more humidity so they can stay nice and inflated. So we're just gonna take this moss, we're gonna nicely spread it over the top of these eggs. And then now that we have a nice layer of moss on the eggs, well, the only thing left to do is actually cover them up, stick them in the incubator, and once they're in the incubator, in about 90 days, we should have some baby rhino iguanas. One minute, 37 seconds later. And there they are. The rhino iguana eggs are in the incubator. They're doing well. We've got some other stuff. We got some tortoise eggs. We've got a hatching baby tortoise, and well, the only thing left to do now is lock this incubator up. We've got strap number one. We've got strap number two. Bam and bam. And now that all of you got an update on some things going on here at the house, it is finally time to hop into today's bird rescue. Guys, I'm I gotta go out to the front yard right now. My sister just called me. 
What is it, Hannah? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta get the lights look. to focus. Hold on. Oh my All these cats gosh. Are Guys, oh my gosh. Look at this. H Hannah just called me. There's my neighbor's evil cat. And guys, there's, a, there's an injured bird. There's another cat. There's another cat. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Get out of here. Guys, we just had some new neighbors move in. And the new neighbors brought cats. And those cats, well, they've been teaming up with my neighbor's evil cat. You guys know the neighbor's evil cat. This cat has been tormenting our yard, and my sister just called me out. There's an injured bird. There's, there's, oh, I, I gotta show you guys. Look, look. There's like blood everywhere. There's blood right there, some there, there, and then there's the, there's the injured bird. It looks like, look at that. Oh, no, his wing is broken. No, poor baby, stay there. This one might be the culprit. This is our neighbor's evil cat. Now, unfortunately, then we've asked the neighbor to do something about it, and he does nothing. Now, I don't know if it was the neighbor's evil cat that injured this bird, but when we walked out here, there was about five to six cats surrounding this bird. Now, the bird is not bleeding. The blood looks dry. It's first thing in the morning. It's only 7.30 a.m. here, and this is what appears to be a native nighthawk bird. What we got to do now is, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, come here, come here. Okay, we just, we just saved the bird. We just got him. Look at this poor little guy. This is a native nighthawk bird. These birds are nighthawks. Oh my gosh, look at his mouth. So native nighthawks, look at a mouth. That's the kind of mouths that they have. They have these large open mouths that they use to fly through the sky with their mouth open. They'll eat moths, other sorts of insects. But what we have to do now is, well, we're going to go out into the sun. We're going to give him a quick physical exam because obviously he's injured. That's why he's here. There's blood on the floor. Guys, what I need you to do right now is go comment down below a little prayer for this bird. You know, I have a lot of people all the time saying our rescues are staged. They're fake. But this is real life here in South Florida. Cats are a terrible invasive species, and well, they injured this poor bird, so let's go give them a physical exam. All right, guys, we are here now, and we're out here in the grass. We're going to do a quick physical exam in the sun for this little guy. We're going to actually move him off into the shade, but we got to do a wing exam. So his wing looked broken. This wing appears to be intact. Look at that wing. That's a totally intact wing right there. Look at this little guy. I'm so sorry, buddy. You want away. That wing looks intact, but I'm not sure about this one. This wing is not oh my gosh guys look he must have gotten bitten by a cat if you look right here it's bloody right there it's really hard to tell that because it's dry oh my gosh no look at him his wing is broken right there i don't you guys can see the blood right there the cat must have bit him right there look at this poor little guy this probably happened at nighttime because you know cats are diurnal they're active in the day and they're active at night this little guy actually was probably on the floor or up in the trees and the cats got him. This is just so, so sad. Look at this cute little guy. One of my absolute favorite birds. I mean, just look at this mouth right here. Look how cool he is and look at those big eyes. One of the most beautiful native birds here in South Florida. And it's just a shame that these feral cats did this. Cats are a terrible invasive species. It's not the cat's fault that they're killing these animals. That's just their natural instincts. But it's the people that own these cats that don't know that their animals are causing such havoc on our native wildlife here in South Florida and all over the world. Australia has actually declared an open season on feral cats because of stuff like this. They kill billions of native wildlife a year. Well, there's only one thing left to do. I am not a licensed wildlife rehabber, and this little guy can only go to one place. We're gonna take him over to Lloyd Brown at the Dade County Wildlife Rescue. That he is a firefighter who specializes in rehabilitating native birds, native mammals, all kinds of stuff, but it really is just so, so sad. But look at his little feet right there. Look how adorable his feet are. Now, a lot of people don't know that birds are actually real life dinosaurs these are real descendants of the dinosaurs and if you look at their feet they have dinosaur like scaly feet but it really is just a shame that this little guy is injured guys again go comment down below a little prayer for this nighthawk because if you look at his wing i don't want to injure him too much his wing is broken right there most likely the cat grabbed him and bit him and broke his wing you can see the injury right there this guy seems pretty weak i mean look at him is he dead oh no Oh no, he just, I think he's dying in my, my arms, guys. Oh no. <sighs> okay, he has some life. Guys, I'm tearing up. 
This is so sad. Look at him. I think he's dying. <laughs> Poor little guy, guys. We're going to get him out of the sun. We're going to take him inside. We're going to take him to... I got to call Lloyd up. Guys, I don't know how much time he has. And we're going to have to take him over to Lloyd Brown, guys. So I'm going to go give Lloyd a call. We're going to take this guy to him because look at him. He doesn't look too good. He looks like he's dying. He must have lost a lot of blood. As you guys can see over here, you can see he's lost a lot of blood. You can see that some of it is still just a little bit wet. Look at that blood right there. This is so sad, guys. So what we're going to do now, I've said it already, but I'm going to call Lloyd and we're going to take him over there. Hopefully he's available and hopefully we can save this Nighthawk's life. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's Nighthawk Rescue. I've got the little Nighthawk in here, and well, we're headed off to Lloyd Brown to give him the Nighthawk, and hopefully he can rehabilitate him and then release him into the wild. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up. Go comment down below what you thought, and guys, if you are not subscribed already, you want to see more bird rescues, well, what are you waiting for? Go right now, hit that subscribe button, and tap that little notification bell, and you all will be notified whenever I post.